I am so glad that 1 Kings 19 is included in Elijah's story. It speaks to me because I've walked through seasons like this. Elijah is experiencing exhaustion, anxiety, and depression, leaving him feeling alone with a lack of any motivation and the basic will to live. So on a mountain, the Lord passes by Elijah, and in his wake, a mighty wind tore the mountain and cast rocks into the sea, then an earthquake, then a fire. But the scriptures say that God wasn't in any of those earth-shattering events. No, God was in the still, small voice that followed. And here's the lesson. God is not the big miracle we want to see. He is the miracle maker. God is not the healing. God is the healer. We have to learn to seek God, not the outcome we want. Then and only then will we see that God is close, close enough to whisper. God is near even when we can't feel him. And this is the greatest power of his Holy Spirit, his everlasting presence with us in the mountains and in the valleys, in life and in death. That's the hope the psalmist rejoiced in when he wrote, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me.